I recently recorded one story as an example from this anthology by the Bunbury Writers Group. Um, but it's the nature of an anthology that it has to be eclectic. And it seems a bit unfair to choose just one story. And so here's another one from Death, Despair and Other Happy Endings. And this one is by David Roat, and it's called Gilda. We didn't find her in my bed. My parents and I were watching a programme on the species integration vote when we heard a noise. We went to the kitchen and found her eating my porridge. So that part was true. She jumped up when she saw us and was halfway out the back door when Mum said, It's okay, you can stay. To my surprise, she hesitated. Dad added, You must be hungry. Sit down and finish. She turned around. She was a pretty teenage girl with blonde hair, but she looked thin and like she hadn't washed in days. Mum told Dad, go run her a bath while we eat. Dad left, and Mum and I sat down and ate our porridge with her. I had Dad's. When her bowl was empty, she looked up. I'm Gilda, she said in a quiet voice. My father calls me Goldilocks. Hello, Gilda, Mum said. I'm Bruna. And this is Tom's, and my husband's name is Danish. You're very welcome in our home. I didn't know you were Ursine when I came in, Gilda said. I- I'm sorry to intrude. That's OK, Mum said. No harm done. My curiosity got the better of me. But why are you here? I ran away from home. I couldn't go to my friends because father would find me. I thought I'd be safe this side of the woods. Safe? asked Dad from the doorway. Weren't you safe at home? Well, she said, and hesitated. I've looked after Father since Mother died, but when I don't please him, he punishes me. Oh, said Mum and Dad together. They looked at each other. I was a bit lost. Mum stood up. First it's a bath and upstairs for some rest in Tom's room. That's okay, isn't it, Tom's? I guess, I mumbled. Mum, with a firm but gentle hand, steered Gilda out of the kitchen. Dad, I said, she can't stay here, can she? Tom's, she needs some sleep. Then we'll see. It's unusual, but I hope if you ever needed it, someone would help you. Dad and I were still in the kitchen when Mum returned. Gilda had me cut off all her hair, Mum said. She said it wasn't real, but she's sleeping now. All that day, Mum and Dad called lots of people, ursine and human, Later, Gilda came down in her freshly laundered clothes and one of my caps. Would you like to stay with us for a while? Mum asked, until things are sorted out. Gilda nodded. When the media found out, there were silly headlines and far-fetched stories. Emotions were high and opinions were divided over whether Gilda should be allowed to stay with us. In the end, though, she did. She got my bedroom and I moved into the attic. Plus, she spends ages in the bathroom. It's totally like having an older sister. And when her hair grew back, it was black. Just like my fur. I rather like that one. Hi, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more readings and author interviews. And don't forget to hit that button to be notified every time we post new content.